Hi, this is Kyle Vance from SciTech Pacific here. Another quick video today, just going through adding a correction source in Triple Earthworks or in Cat Grade. It's going to be the same process in either platform. So yeah, we got the carry over there. So we'll jump into our machine setup from our dashboard. From there, next to correction source, if we drop that tab down, it's going to show all of our current sources. On the right of that, we'll see this little advanced tab. From here, as you can see, that's showing all of our correction sources. We'll head to the advanced tab again. What that's going to do, that's going to take us over into sort of backdooring us into the web interface as such, which is the configuration menu. It takes a little sec here, just as it sort of logs in automatically. You don't need to use the password side of things here. It's sort of, it's backdooring into that, that web application. So we'll take a sec here. One other thing to note is that you need to have in the users, you need to have operator plus set up. So if you just have operator, you won't have this advanced function to allow you to add correction sources. So we sort of recommend that everyone have that operator plus added, so sort of all logins really. From there, you'll see our current correction source we have. We'll select add down the bottom here to add a new correction source. Again, our source is gonna be an SNR radio. We will name that as ever you normally would basically. Again, I'll just go with SciTech Pacific. I like to include the the network chat ID or the channel in here as well, just as in the name. It just as a quick reference, I feel like it just makes sense to have it in there as well. So, saves us having to go into that advanced tab in the in the operator application to be able to see what channel that is. So yeah, I, I typically just go a name and a site name, something like that, and then the network. So channel twenty two. Again, this is going to be Canada and US specific, but your region, you'll know what region you're in. We'll save that. Another nice feature with Earthworks is whatever correction source you've edited or added last, it's going to make that the active channel. So at this point, we are ready to basically jump back into our operator application. So we'll select exit down on the bottom left there. It's going to take us basically log us out and take us back to our, our typical Earthworks or CACRATE application.